In this video, I will be reviewing the very trendy, popular, and some may say bougie up a baby Vista V2 stroller. This stroller is priced at almost $1,000, and that's without a lot of the accessories, but it gives you an option to go from a single to a double. So let's dive into all the little details and evaluate whether it's worth the price tag. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm the Stroller Mom. I review car seats, strollers, baby gear for families, and I have three children, and I test all of the strollers on my channel personally with my three kids. This video is completely unsponsored, so if you do decide to buy this stroller, I would greatly appreciate if you use the link in the description. It helps support this channel. Also, if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's dive in. So let's jump into price. This stroller retails at $999, which, is quite expensive, however, for that you get a bassinet that is approved for safe sleep, the stroller frame, a toddler seat, a bug shield, and a rain shield for the toddler seat, a bug shield for the bassinet, and a bassinet storage bag. So a decent amount of things for the price, but it is still very expensive, especially to other compared to other strollers on the market. The one thing Up a Baby has going for them, and every time I've reviewed Up a Baby stroller, I feel this way, is they make really good quality strollers. Something I really love about the handlebar is it's great for tall parents or parents of varying heights because it has this nice telescopic, super easy to use, one-handed handlebar. The other thing I love about this handlebar, and I'll show it a little later with the piggyback board or rider board, is because it comes out the way it does, your child's able to fit under the handlebar and it makes it so much nicer to push. So that is something that I really love about it. I do have the um, parent organizer here and the cup holder, but those both have to be purchased at additional prices, which that's kind of how the stroller is. To get all the things you need, you have to buy everything separately and it's not cheap. <laughs> now something that's super nice about the Upper Baby Vista is it grows with your family. Right? So that's a huge selling point and where a lot of parents are able to justify it is because it kind of has that one size fits all stroller. But let's be real, there's no such thing as a one size fits all stroller. The Upper Baby Bassinet is so nice. It is a proof for safe sleep. You can get a like little stand that you can put in your house and use it there, which if you've followed me on Instagram, you know that I love a portable bassinet during the baby stage. It's just safe place, especially as a mom of three, to keep your baby. I mean, even we come out here and play with my kids, I'll have the bassinet right here, have my baby sleeping in it, safe nearby. It is just so, so nice. And I have loved this bassinet. So some things I really like about it is it has this super nice um, sunshade that comes out. Not a lot of other bassinets have this. All the fabrics are removable so you can um, wash them super easily. The buttons on the handle. So at first I was kind of annoyed by this, but as I used it more, I really grew to like it. So on top of the bassinet, they have this button here that allows you to take it off of the stroller. It's super nice, super easy to use, and you can do it one-handed. The canopy can be moved up and down with like these memory buttons that I love. So holding the baby, trying to put her in, you just push this button on each side and then you can move it down. I say that one-handed and it is so nice. I also really like this like wet all weather protector that I've been using. Um, it's really nice as well, but you can also take that off. Let's jump in to the seat. So this seat is so nice, can be used up to 50 pounds, which is really great. And it has the snack tray on here, which I'll talk about in just a second. It is purchased additionally with more money. So, you know, just adding to the, the theme of this stroller. <laughs> so it fits really nicely. It has many reclines that are super easy to use including one that's nearly flat. With the V2 version, they did upgrade the leg rest and the canopy, which I'll show you is really, really cool. And has just like so many awesome features. So starting with the canopy, it pulls down here and has a really good extension. And then it has a zipper panel that you can bring down as well with like this nice little mesh airflow. It's like a second peekaboo window, which I really like. And you actually can see your child with this peekaboo window. I really like that. Um, there also is another one that you can use as a peekaboo window when it's not extended. So easy to use canopy, super great. I love that you can put this seat, there's two buttons on the side. You can put this seat in either the forward facing or facing towards you, which I end up doing a lot, especially when your baby is like, when they sit up their six months, you can start using this. You can use it a little bit before, but realistically six months is the best time to use it. And it's so nice to have them facing towards you. I love it. The snack tray is pretty great. It's like an essential, right? You need it, but look it, it folds down. I wish the snack tray opened this way and like 
stayed. So when you're getting your child out, like snacks aren't falling all over the place. Let's talk about the buckles. They have no rethread, which is great if you have children of multiple ages that you're getting in and out of the stroller. Also, it's just nice to not have to rethread your straps. And then it does have a really nice, easy to use button. It's not magnet but it's so easy to use. And then an adjustable footrest that goes down really far. There is a footrest down here in the bottom, but I'm not really sure of, I've never seen a child's feet reach down that low using this stroller. So I don't know, mainly you'd be using this one, which it gets the job done. One thing I forgot to mention that I love about the Upper Baby Vista seat is the fact that with the new V2 version, you can move the canopy up and down to accommodate a taller toddler. This is great because my oldest is in like the 99th percentile for height, and it was wonderful to be able to move that up for her and have that extra height on the canopy. It also is true for the rumble seat. So this is great for both seats on the Vista and it's a really cool feature that they added. Moving on to the basket. This is probably one of parents' favorite features about this stroller. It can hold up to 30 pounds. So it is a really nice basket. It has some really cool pockets, including the addition of a new one that you can put the adapters under um, and it has a good weight. The other thing is, is it has this nice like lever type thing that is new with the V2 version that just makes it easier to access. In regards to the push, this stroller is so nice, especially when used as a single. You can kind of do this while it's not an all-terrain stroller. You can take this stroller because of the suspension on things like loose gravel and grass, those type of things, and it'll do fine. If you're going like on sand or like really rough terrain, it's not gonna do amazing, but in general, the large tires are just so nice. The front wheels can lock as well, which make it easier to do that terrain. The brake is okay. A lot of parents like the brake. I have found that my brake has gotten some dirt in it, so it gets stuck a lot, and I kind of have to play with it to get it right, but it is a one-handed flip-flop friendly break and I really like that. One more thing I forgot to mention on the basket that is not my favorite is twofold. When used as a double stroller, the bassinet has to go on the bottom, which is super inconvenient and we'll get to that in a minute. But it ends up like blocking half of the basket from being used. The other thing is it has this large metal bar, which I'm sure is for like balance and suspension and all that, that goes across it that blocks like some of the nice easy access of the basket. So that is something that I don't love is that metal bar, but for the most part, you just kind of pile things on it and it works out fine. Before we get to showing you kind of how it is used as a double and one of the main features of this stroller is a single to double, let's look at the fold. So to fold it, you want to put this, recline the seat to match along with the bars, and then you want to extend out the handle. Then you'll put the brake on, and then it is a two-handed fold. So you have to put these two levers on the side and then it closes. Now, if you do the handlebar at the highest extension, it does stand upright on its own, which I cannot tell you how nice that is. I've been testing strollers that do not do that. So it stands up on its own. It's semi-compact, but it is heavy. This stroller weighs 27 pounds. The seat itself is seven pounds, so 20 pounds without the seat. So loading it in and out of your car, I mean, it's a beast. The other thing is, is I have found myself like pinching my fingers on some of the things when opening and closing it, but you get used to what you have. So the more I used it, I found it didn't happen as much. To open the stroller, there's a little lever right here and then you kind of just pull and pull it open. The last thing I will say about this stroller as a single is it is compatible with car seats. So if you buy the up a baby car seat, it goes on without adapters. It'll fit on here super nicely. Previously, I probably wouldn't have recommended getting the up a baby car seat, infant car seat, because it was not the best. I would have said go with the Pippa. But up a baby just came out with a really cool car seat that I will link below that if I was a new mom and in the market, I would definitely consider this car seat. So if you choose to use like me, a Pippa car seat or a different car seat like Cybex, Clec, those ones, Peg Perigo, you're gonna have to buy adapters and then they'll go on. To make this stroller a double, you need so many adapters. So right here I have the rumble seat, which I have the older version, which they still sell, but they just updated. So previously the rumble seat only held 35 pounds. So your lower seat, would only hold 35 pounds, the upper seat held 50. They've now updated it, but also increased the price of the rumble seat. So if you get the rumble seat V2, it now holds 45 pounds. So still not 50, but it's getting closer. So 45 pounds on the bottom, 50 pounds on the top. So to do that, you need the seat and it comes with its own special rumble seat adapters. You also need to purchase upper adapters for the seat or the right here, okay? Another set of adapters you have to buy. 
And if you want to use this with car seats or bassinets on the bottom, then you need to purchase another set of lower adapters for the bottom. So just lots of adapters and this is how you get to like paying $1,500 for your stroller. In regards to configurations as a double, there are so many options and it can even be used up to three with the rider board. So I'll show um, screen share here of all the different options you can do with it as a double. So I'm not going to go into all the different configurations, but there's a couple that I do want to highlight. And then if you do want to see any how to's, if you do end up buying the stroller, I will make shorts of those and I will post that on my channel. So be sure to come back for those. So one of the main selling points of this stroller is that it can go from a single to a double. So while you're paying almost a thousand dollars, it's an investment that'll last you for years and years and years. Now, there's some truth to that. So I'm going to show you a few of the configurations. There's so many, but you have to also purchase so many things. I mean, just to get this set up right here, you have to purchase two adapters. And I also have the rider board on here. If you want to use it as a double with two seats, you need to purchase two adapters different than the ones that you'd be using for the bassinet or the car seat. So there's just a lot of adapters and it's kind of confusing, but I can walk you through all of them. I'll make shorts on them below on how to do that. So this is the configuration I have been using as a mom of three. The bassinet can only go on the bottom when used with an older child. Your baby's down here in the bassinet. You can see how it kind of blocks the basket and then your toddler seat goes here and realistically your toddler has to face you because otherwise as you can see here you're like seats going into the bassinet I mean if your babies are really close in age you can like fold that up but then again like banking on the fact that my kid's not going to kick its crock into its sibling's face eh, just a little risky so I would recommend keeping it this way which is what I've been doing Plus my older two think it's kind of fun to like be face to face with each other. I'll have my toddler who's almost four on the board. I love that the telescopic handlebar kind of comes back while the piggyback board is not perfect and kind of tricky to install. It is a cool feature if you need to use it. In regards to the second seat, having it towards you is definitely the way to go. I hate having the bassinet on the bottom. Like I want my newborn closest to me. I'm not as worried about my toddler. I want her to be able to look out and enjoy the world. And you cannot do that on the Vista. Another example I'll kind of walk through that I experienced when using this as a double is I actually was going to wear my baby, which I like to do a lot in the early stages. And I was gonna put both of my toddlers in the seat. So I had my oldest here, which makes like the push a lot easier as a double if the weight is more like centrally located. But in order for me to put my youngest here, I had to take off the bassinet, uninstall these adapters, get the rumble seat adapters, which are different, and then put that on there. The Rumble seat is just a lot. The fact that it cannot use the same adapters as the other things, like the Mockingbird and some of these other strollers, like it's just one set of adapters for all the configurations, is a really big con for me of this as a double stroller. The other con is, is it is not the best push as a double, right? It's in its prime. I say this all the time in my videos. Strollers have a prime, right? Especially these strollers that are trying to do a lot of things. They're gonna be best in one area, and this stroller is definitely best as a single stroller and maybe like with the piggyback board. Once you start getting into two strollers when their babies are little, it's a super easy push. Like when I use my toddler and my baby, but as your kids get heavier, it can be really challenging. And then you start getting on those dirt road, those gravel, even though it does have bigger tires, you have so much weight that you're pushing that it can be a little bit tricky. And that's why a lot of parents end up moving to a double stroller. So let's talk about that. Who would the single to double be good for? Twin parents. If you are having twins, this is a great option. As you can see here, as I showed earlier, you can do two bassinets, two infant car seats, and two seats. You're also gonna have with twins a better weight distribution because they're gonna be the same, around the same weight generally, not always. Um, so that is a really great option to consider. Another thing is, is if you have a kid who does not need, a child who does not need to ride in the stroller or is only gonna be riding in the stroller for a smaller period of time. Let's say you have a four, a four year age gap, a Vista could be a really nice option for you because you would have a small period of time when you have both kids are in the stroller. And so then you don't have to buy a whole separate double stroller. You just have the one that can be used as a double or a single. But if you're like me and you have kids super, super close in age, you may want to look at a double stroller that has a better push or is more lightweight or has some of those features that and just have two strollers. Like go with a lightweight option during your first and then reevaluate based off how close your ages of your kids are. So that's the thing. There's no such thing as a one size fits all stroller. This stroller is amazing quality and there's a lot of things that are really great. And if you have the budget to buy it, 
it is a great option. There are also other strollers like the Mockingbird that I'll do a full review of here in just a couple weeks that get you pretty close to what the Vista is at a more affordable price. I'll go on ahead and link the Mockingbird stroller if you wanna look at that one in the bio um, just to compare some options. These two are pretty debated on which one you're gonna go with based off budget. That's ultimately what it comes down to. I hope this video was helpful. I know this is a very complicated, complex stroller. So if you still have questions, please comment below, like and subscribe to this channel, and be sure to check out our other comparisons of the Vista to other strollers out there. Thanks for watching.